everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video is really exciting. So I just opened up this package and I was like, oh my God, I really want to film with these products and use them right away. And as you guys can tell from the title, it's a Dober Nope on the Too Faced Life's a Festival collection. And oh my goodness, this collection is just beautiful. I am just, yeah. I'm very, very excited. So in this Dober Nope, I am testing out all the products. I swatch them all on my lips for all the lip products. I even did this eye look. And then I also use all the highlighters. So I show application clips throughout the video for you guys. So that way you can see it worn on the face and how it applies and all that fun stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this Dober Nope. Okay, so first off, Too Faced, they sent me a pinata. Look at how cool it was. It actually opens up and it carried all of the lip products in there, which was awesome. I was so ecstatic when I saw that. I love unicorns, you guys know that, because it's the whole My Little Pony thing. I mean, like unicorns, horses, all that fun stuff, like fantasy is just my cup of tea. And so, yeah, that was really, really cool. So I just put that in the backdrop for you guys. But they also sent over this book, which I really am thankful for. So that way it's a little bit easier for me to talk about each product. Don't worry, this is gonna be 100% honest. This is not sponsored. So let's go ahead and get into the first thing. First off, all of these products are already available on Too Faced.com. I will have them all linked down below for your convenience so you can take a closer look at them. All right, so the first product that I'm gonna go into is the Too Faced Life's a Festival Peace, Love, and Unicorns palette. This is what the box looks like right here. Really beautiful box, and you also have the shades on the back. And then this is what the actual palette looks like. Look at this palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the packaging on this palette. I love the rainbow. I love the like glitter unicorn right here silhouette. Really beautiful. And then there is the back. And when you open it up, you get a mirror and then you also get your shadows. This one retails for $42, so it's definitely a little pricey, but not too bad. I think you're definitely getting it with the packaging because the packaging is like kind of like a cushiony packaging. It's just really cute. I think they did a great job with it. And then also you get a total of 13 shadows, but Unicorn Tears you can use as a highlighter or an eyeshadow. And this shade is actually after their lipstick that they came out with, that Unicorn Tears lipstick. So they made it into a highlighter and you get a total of three matte shades and a total of 10 shimmer shades in here. So one one thing I really like is I like it that they added in these warm brown and like coppery and rose gold tones right here because they're a little bit more neutral. So if you're a little bit scared to play with color, you could use those ones on your eyes and then you can take one of these brighter colors and use it as a pop of color like on the bottom lash line or something just to like ease your way into it. This definitely isn't a palette for everyone. It's very like bright and colorful and not an everyday palette. So it's really gonna come down to your preference if you need this in your collection. I actually really like it. I had an easy time working with the shadows for this eye look that I created. So what I use is I use Young and Free right here, which is the matte pink. And I just dusted that into the crease. And then I just went ahead and took Beeman. And what Beeman's really neat, it's like a cream shimmer shade that has a shift of gold in it, which is gorgeous. So I pop that on in the inner corner of the eye to keep the eye look very like bright and fresh looking. And I love using shades like this. And then what I did is I was like, you know what? I kind of want to pop some green in here too. So it kind of looks like a flower or like a watermelon. It's very spring looking. So I went into Fireflies right here and this is that like kind of lime green sheen shade. And it has a shift of gold in it, which I thought really went well with Beeman. So I I just threw that on the outer portion of the eye and then I brought that pink down on that lower lash line. And I think it turned out really pretty. I was even gonna go into fun to see and then throw that into the crease, but I really liked how soft the look turned out and I didn't really wanna make it a little bit more bolder. I kinda wanted to keep it fresh looking, so I just kept it there. But those shadows, I had no problem with. They were easy to use, they were easy to blend. Honestly, the pink one was perfect. It didn't go on patchy, it just blended beautifully in my crease. So I'm definitely gonna be using more shades and then I'll probably go a little bit more in depth in it in my February Dopes and Nopes because in that video, I'm basically going to be talking about a bunch of makeup that was launched in the month of February that I've been trying out for the month and going in depth with those reviews. So definitely check out that one. But so far, I actually really enjoyed this. So for me, it's a dope, especially because I love the packaging. 
Packaging gets me every time, but also I found the shadow so far easy to work with. But again, this is not gonna be a palette for everyone, so it really comes down to your preference and what you want in your collection. So yeah. But dude, you guys, the packaging is so cute. I love it. All right, so next up we have some highlighting sticks that they launched. So these are called the Unicorn Horn Mystical Effects Highlighting Sticks. And these retail for $28. So they came out with two different shades. So they came out with Unicorn Tears and Unicorn Dreams. But you guys have to see the packaging. The packaging again on this is beautiful. They have the gold glitter silhouette of the unicorn. And then right here it says Unicorn Tears, which is the shade name. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like and then you twist up and it looks like a unicorn horn that I found was so cool like these little touches just make a product and it just makes it so much fun this one right here I applied um I forgot which side but you guys will see it when I apply it on the overlay clip it definitely isn't an everyday highlight it's more of a blue with a shift of purple in it so it's not something that I would wear every day, but I have to say the formula of it is really nice. It glided right on. It was easy to blend out. It's not like super crazy, like pigmented wham bam highlight in your face, but it does give you a really pretty like healthy glow look. I have to say out of the two, my favorite is definitely Unicorn Dreams. This is what it looks like. It looks just like the blue Unicorn Tears packaging, but instead it's like a rose gold. And then you twist it up right here and then there's your highlight. This one I could wear every day. I really like this one on my cheeks. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. This is just a rose gold with a shift of gold in it. Really rose gold with a shift of gold in it. It's a rose gold shade. It is so pretty and I just really, really like this one. So for me, these are dope because I like the formula, but for shades, I have to say I definitely prefer Unicorn Dreams. This one is definitely my favorite. All right, so next up we have a bronzer that they came out and it's actually the bronzer that I'm wearing on my skin right now. This is the Unicorn Tears Iridescent Mystical Bronzer and this one retails for $30. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, stunning, stunning packaging. This is the inside of it right there. I love it how they did the unicorn in it. Oh, it's so cute. So I'm actually gonna read what they wrote in the book for this one. It said, for the first time ever, we combine the effects of warm broad sunlight, the ethereal glow of moonlight, and the twinkle effect of starlight for unique bronze and one of a kind festival glow like nothing you've ever seen. So it definitely is a bronzer. It's not a contour shade. It has a little bit of a sheen in it. Oh no, I just swirled it around and made my unicorn look dirty. Gosh dang it. <laughs> But this is what the bronzer shade looks like right there. You could see it blended out really pretty. It didn't go on patchy. It just literally looks like second skin. It's so fine and just a really, really good powder. I have to say, I wish it was just a little bit cooler. I feel like it's a little bit too warm for my preference, but I have to say it still ended up looking really pretty on my cheeks. And I like the sheen that it gives. It just gives a really pretty bronzy, glow to the skin that's like perfect for the summertime so that's what that looks like right there but if you do not like warm bronzers then veer away from this one but it, the powder and the formula is really nice I just feel like it's a little bit too warm for me this is kind of a little bit on the fence for me because of the shade I like the formula I just wish the shade was not as warm so I'm gonna go with a meh on it. This is like, I remember I did this in the past where if I didn't have like a Dober Nope on something, I would just go meh, like it's like right in between. <laughs> All right, so next up we have their new highlighter and this is the Too Faced Rainbow Strobe Rainbow Effect Highlighter. And this is what the outside looks like right here. Look at how pretty that is. Again, they killed it with the packaging. I just cannot say that enough. And then they made it look like a rainbow inside. This one retails also for $30 and it's beautiful, it's really beautiful. It's a very fun highlight, I have to say. It's also pretty glittery, I'm wearing it right now. And for me, I think it's a fun highlighter and it's just something pretty to have in my collection, but I'm gonna say it's a nope for me on this because it's just too glittery. I don't like glittery highlights, I feel like they just really accentuate texture and they don't look flattering on the skin. So I think this is a fun and pretty highlight, but it's just not something that I would wear just because it's just way too glittery for me. If it was more of a sheen and didn't have all those specks of glitter in it, then I think I would really like it. 
but because of all the glitter, I'm just like, Ugh, I don't really like all the glitter. So it's a pass for me on it. You guys know that. If you saw like my worst in beauty with the Fenty highlighters, the reason why I didn't like those is because the glitter in it. Just don't like glitter in my highlight. I like it to be a sheen. Like the sheens are really flattering on the skin that has a little bit of texture. So yeah, that's a nope. All right, so they also came out with a really cute brush. This is the Too Faced Magic Rainbow Strobing Brush. So this is what it looks like right here. It comes in that packaging and then let me pull it out. I just love the handle on it. The handle is so cute, but I think it also would have been really cute if they would have made it like a unicorn like horn handle, you know, with those little rivets. I think that would have been cute, but they also made it like a rainbow right here. It's a really soft brush. You could use this one for highlight. I used it for to apply that highlight on my cheeks, but you can also use it for contouring because it has such a fine straight edge that you can just get it in there, press it and then push up. So you could use it for, oh, like, you could use it for cream contour. I think that would be really good with it because it's a little bit more dense. And you can also use it for other like powder contours too. And that way you could place it and then blend up, which would be beautiful. So really easy to work with. Definitely a really cute brush. And this retails for $34. So it is a little pricey, a little bit expensive so it really comes down to if you want this brush in your collection or not i think it's cute i think it's definitely cute but yeah it comes down to your preference all right so now on to the lipsticks they kind of continue the unicorn collection because they already came out with unicorn tears and they launched three new shades these all retail like their regular lipsticks for 22 dollars and again these are the la cream mystical effects lipsticks the first one i'll show you is unicorn tears and this is already in their permanent collection. That is what it looks like right there. And then we have Fairy Tears. And this one is more of a gold with a shift of pink in it. That one's really pretty. And then there is Mermaid Tears. And this is like a green with a purple in it. Do you see that? It's like a forest green. And last but not least, we have Angel Tears. And Angel Tears is more of a gold with a shift of pink in it. Do you see that one? That one's a little bit more neutral compared to the others. So with these lipsticks, I'm gonna already tell you right now, they're a note for me. They go on really chunky and like chunky glitter on your lips that it's not flattering at all. So I would totally pass on these, unfortunately. I really love the shade Angel Tears right here and also Fairy Tears, but it's just, they all just kind of went on just too chunky of glitter and it just wasn't very cute on the lips at all. They are very out there lip colors. So again, these aren't something that you could wear every single day, but it's just the way that they went on my lips, they just went pretty chunky on them. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell it on the overlay clips of me applying them, but just when I looked in really up close in the mirror, I just could really tell that they went on very just chunky and just not cute at all. So I'm gonna say with that formula, it's a note for me. It just wasn't my favorite. All right, so next up we have the new lip toppers, lip glosses that they came out with. These are the Magic Crystal Mystical Effects Lip Toppers. So they came out with four shades that are corresponding with their lipstick shades, and these retail for $19. So the first shade that we have is Unicorn Tears, and Unicorn Tears is more of a blue with a shift of purple, just like the lipstick is. This one is really pretty. It honestly feels almost like a clear lip gloss with a shift of purple in it. Then the next one, Fairy Tears, is is gorgeous. I really love this one. It's a really pretty, almost like a goldy apricot shade. And then you have that shift of pink in it, which is really stunning. And then the third one is Mermaid Tears. And I have to say out of the lip glosses and the lipsticks, Mermaid Tears is my least favorite. I just don't find it that flattering. It has a green gloss with a shift of purple in it. I don't know. I just wasn't the most flattering lip color. So that one is my least favorite. And then the last one is Angel Tears. And this is one of my top favorites because it's just really pretty and just really subtle. It's actually the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it's a really pretty kind of like soft, light pink, clear gloss with a shift of gold in it. It's just really stunning. And I think it's pretty and would be great even for every day or even just popping it on top of a lipstick, just kind of amplify the look or something. But I think that one is definitely my favorite. So for these, I think they did a good job with these lip toppers. I like the formula. They feel comfortable on the lips. I really like the way that they look on the lips. So I have to say these are definitely a dope. All right, so another part of that came out in the collection that I didn't get in my PR package, but also when I went to go look at it online, it wasn't even for sale yet, but they have it in this book right here. And it's the Bottle of Unicorn Tears. It's a mystical highlighter drops. I really wanna try these out. So whenever I see that they launch 
launch them, I am definitely gonna pick them up. I think they look really, really cool. It's basically just a liquid highlighter that you could like, you know, put on before your foundation or mix into your foundation. I don't know, I just think this would be awesome to try out. So I definitely wanna get my hands on that when that launches, cause I did not see, I could try finding it on their website too. And I couldn't find it, which probably is a reason why I didn't get it in the PR package. Also, last but not least, they came out with a new setting spray. And this is the Festival Refresh Mystical Effects Setting and Refreshing Spray. This retails for $24. I have not tried this out yet. I was gonna try it out on camera right now because I was like, if this ruins my makeup, I didn't wanna have to redo everything to film the talking portions of this video. So it says that this is a super hydrating, shimmering, multitasking mist, sets makeup in place all day and refreshes anytime your skin needs a boost. Infused with opalescent pearls of for all over illumination, this magical mist cools and refreshes. So you can set the base so you missed it after makeup for all day, festival fun. You can refresh it, use it anytime to refresh your glow or cool when you need a recharge. Let's see, let's shake this baby up because I definitely noticed that it, oh, it even, it's like an aerosol can almost. Oh my God, I am so nervous, you guys. I'm so nervous trying this stuff out on camera. But this is what it looks like when you shake it up because it, it definitely comes down. Oh, there's balls in it. <laughs> it definitely comes down to the bottom, like that shimmer sits down there. So let's just spray this. Oh my God, it smells like Starburst. It smells like a watermelon, the pink starburst. It smells bomb and the mister was actually pretty nice. Let me check my face. The mister was definitely nice. I actually don't hate it. It gave me a glow. It gave me a super glow. There's no spots on my face where like, you know, makeup dissolved or anything like that. Everything looks pretty still. All right, so I'm also reading the back and it says that it helps refine pores and improve skin texture while rose quartz powder adds some love energy to your makeup. The alcohol-free formula, fresh dreamy scent will leave you with an enchanting ethereal festival vibe. Definitely does smell good. It really does smell good. And it gave my skin a really pretty glow. Like I can just tell in the monitor and also in the mirror. Woo, okay, that one's a dope, that one's pretty. But if you're oily, I'd be a little cautious of it. All right, so that is everything in the Too Faced Lives a Festival collection. This is a really cute collection. And I hope that this video helped you guys get a closer look at all the products to kind of see if there's anything that you wanna get your hands on or anything that you wanna pass on. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below, what is your favorite thing in this collection and what you wanna get your hands on or even the stuff that you might wanna pass on. I would love to hear your opinions. And if you guys wanna check out more videos, just click one of the videos down below in the box. So that way you can check out more of my recent videos and also don't forget to check out my vlog channel life of maddie and i will see you guys in my next video bye that was a weird bye bye